Hi friend, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I wanted to share with you my two month update of using Miel Rosemary Oil. So let's go ahead and get started. By the way, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Tanya. On this channel, I share tutorials, reviews, and self-help videos for women. Be sure to subscribe. And if you're coming back, as always, welcome back. So if you're new here, let me quickly catch you up with what's going on. So back in 2021, I had telogen effluvium. I lost probably more than half of my hair. I had to cut off several inches to even it out and make it look somewhat decent. I also have PCOS and that causes hair loss on the temples. I lost a lot of weight over the last three years and that can contribute to hair loss as well. I also have uterine fibroids, which causes low iron, which I've dealt with, um, so severe anemia. And on top of that, y'all, I've been stressed out like over the last few years, like everyone else has. So with all those challenges combined, I'm not sure how I still have hair on my head at this point. So it's been a struggle, y'all. As of right now, I don't expect my hair to go back to normal. I just want my edges back, that's all. As I mentioned in my last video, I saw this meal oil on TikTok for the first time. And when I first saw it, I was like, yeah, that's nonsense. That's BS, I'm not getting that. But after going to PubMed to look at some research, I reconsidered and I thought it'd be fun to share with you my journey either way. No matter if it was a flop or not, I just figured it will be worth testing out. So around the two week mark, I didn't notice any difference whatsoever. I also didn't expect any changes I should add. I mean, it's not like a miracle growth, but yeah, two weeks passed, nothing changed. But one month in, I noticed a change. So I went to the mirror and I only went to the mirror, by the way, because my scalp was itching and I wanted to see what was going on, but it was only itching on my temples. So after further inspection, I noticed that there were little spots of hair in those two areas specifically. And it wasn't a coincidence because I changed nothing else in my routine, my diet, my vitamin regimen, nothing. Everything else was the exact same. The only difference was I was starting to use oil on a regular basis. Like I use the entire bottle for, well, the entire bottle on my scalp over the course of those four weeks. So I was using it pretty much every single day. So this has been a great option for me considering that I did not want to take any medication for hair loss. To be clear, I'm not opposed to taking medication for hair loss. However, if I can find a natural route, I'm gonna go ahead and take So last first. year, I was actually thinking about going back on spironolactone, which is a medication they use to treat PCOS in combination with birth control. They also use it for other things in 2023, but I didn't want to go back on the medication because I remember vividly all the symptoms that I had to deal with on that medication. That medication messed with my potassium levels. It made me dehydrated. It made me sweat a lot, like night sweats like you wouldn't believe. So just a ton of bizarre symptoms that I don't want to have to deal with ever again. So as for my two month update, I am using it consistently. I'm actually on my third bottle now. So I'm using about a bottle a month, which is a lot but I use a lot of oil. I don't plan to stop using it. I think it works for me and I have proof that it works for me just by looking back at my footage that I'm taking every single month um, to see the changes, which is good because I can go back and look at my journey from the beginning. So if you're thinking about using this, I wanna have a little chat about that. First and foremost, always try it at your own risk. I know that there have been a few people who have used this oil and had hair loss. Now, I wanna talk a little bit about that because it might be because this oil was formulated for type four hair. So if you are of European descent and you have pin straight hair, I would say be a little cautious because all the pictures that I saw of people complaining about hair loss after using this oil, uh, they were white. And of course, this is just based on what I saw in the pictures. Um, it can happen to anyone though, I think, especially if it's due to inflammation. It does say on the bottle that it's for all hair types, but you know, some people are allergic to essential oils and it causes inflammation and sometimes hair loss. So it's something to just keep in mind. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful. I'm loving my Mio oil. I'm gonna continue to use it. I'm on my third bottle and I am going to do an update next month to share with you my progress. So be sure to stay tuned. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, give it a big thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. The next video is on the screen. Until next time.